Right, I've come up to the fort, Iron Age fort, just doing a very, very quick video. Basically, it's, look at it, because they cut the funding. Look how over, I've never, in fact, I've never known it's overgrown. Never, I've never seen the bushes this high ever. It's like walking through the jungle. Wow, so they have cut the funding a bit. I mean, I might have seen it long, long, long time ago this high. Just shows you how you come up here. Let me just climb up here a minute. Yeah, God, goodness, it's overgrown. Bothering video, I've got so much video footage. Right, we're on top of Whirlbury Fort. Iron Age Fort, the Romans were here as well. <coughs> People have been up here smoking their bongos by the look of it. But I've never seen it this overgrown. This is massively overgrown. Very look how deep it looks as well. Yeah, look, that's where the druggies come up here, look. Look, someone's got their, left there. Look. Their bongo, what you call it. There. Well, I haven't videoed it for a while, so it's uh, usually neat and tidy up here. I just met a bloke who's totally lost. He's from Birmingham. He thought he'd come from West and walk through the woods. And uh, looks like he has a passport with him and a carrier bag. But he was—he wasn't—he was English, you know, definitely English. And he looked very, very lost. And I had to—I don't know if he had dementia or something, but I had to direct him. He can't be—he can only be about sixty-six. I told him to go towards the water tower. This was all the remnants of the fort here. And of course it was quarried up here as well. So there is a, an overlap of history here. But I've ne I've, well, I haven't seen it like this for a long, long, long time. I can't even remember it being this overgrown. I mean, up here where we got the pits, they pruned all that back earlier in the year. I got a little video I did of it. And it's quite likely that would be overgrown, if that is. We've had a good summer, really, a lot of water. The only trouble walking with a stick is you can't control the camera so much. See, there's a pit hole there. Grain store. Could be part of the Roman stuff as well, mind. All this is riddled with um, archaeology. Here's my lovely big tree. I love this tree. Throughout the seasons, it's always there greeting me. Hello! Oozing oxygen. Yeah. You can look a bit spooky sometimes, that one. I've got to cut down on video. I can't stop videoing. I've got so much stuff. I am on top of it all. Because it takes me a while to do it all. Some, some stuff now, I'm just not even getting around to doing... Um, the publishing side. I don't know what that is. I can see something blue through there. People do camp up here, mind. There's something there, look. Camera, get right in. That's a dog. Somebody's tent, probably.
because you want to get back to the west and just go back the way you come, isn't it? Right, be interested to see how overgrown this has become. Because I've got brand in my pocket. This is one of our walks. I mean, I discovered all of Western Woods with Brandy. She accompanied me on all our explorations, she did. <sighs> Here's the favourite trailer. Always reminds me of something from the Middle East. You know, the oasis type tree that you get. It's a symbol of the fort for me, this. Yeah, it's a walking paradise up here for people as well. It can be very boggy up here in the winter. Now earlier in the year this was all cut back and I could walk, I could see the ground here. This could all be seen. There was a main path going right up through the middle there, so you didn't fall down the holes. Yeah, it's all overgrown now though. Yeah, all overgrown. I normally go up to a pathway to there and then along the side there. I don't know how overgrown that's going to be. Yeah, we're just going to have a look. Yeah, I haven't got trousers on. Might leave it. There was a path going right up the middle earlier in the year. Look at it now. Now we'll follow the main route today. This is where I brought Daisy and Amber when we, they visit. We sometimes come up to the fort and I show them all the pits and everything. Of course Daisy's getting to a stage now where she probably finds being with me very boring because I remember I remember that when my dad visited I was the only one left going out with him in the end. Jude and Margaret both didn't want to go out with him. He used to come down from London, stay for a week and uh, I was more or less forced to go out with him, mind, because um, I suppose everyone felt sorry that he'd come this way and no one wanted to see him. But uh, I sort of half wanted to see him, I remember. It was my dad after all, but we didn't know him really, he didn't bring us up. I blame it on the war. Times were different in the 50s. My mum had to live a repressive role under him. She, when, she got, when he went, she felt free. She impressed on me the importance of freedom and not being a doormat. Oh. No. Born free. You could say we're all born equal. But not born free. Um, could go the other way, couldn't it, really? Right, this is part of the woods. Now, we carry on down through here. Um, the World War One and Two probably also would have used this hill fort mine as a defensive position. It was, um, the soldiers dug in here, but I don't, I haven't really researched that part, but I know there is quite a history here of, um, the hill fort being used for defensive reasons in the past. There's a path, if you go down there, there's a path that follows right by the coast. Oh, this looks 
all overgrown as well. Everything's overgrown today. A natural little archway being formed. Very, very overgrown, I'd say. Yeah, like I said, I was just saying about the girls, as they get older they might not want to, but they might do as well. I mean, it does them good to come out exploring. Right then, I'm going to turn off for a minute now. Then I, I get what it is, I'll go on down through that track there, look, until I come to some steps. I want to take some photos. I'll come to some steps in a minute. And there's all the trees above. Beautiful, it's very lush up here, very lush. <laughs> 